you know how to copy and paste in a Word document. You know how to copy and paste in Excel. If you're a programmer, you know how to copy, paste, push, and pull code. But did you know you can also copy and paste hardware? Let me show you how. In a medical school, a student enters an exam room as part of a simulation. A trained actor, a so-called simulated patient, or SP, is already waiting. The encounter starts and the student begins taking a medical history. But when they try to listen to the patient's heart, the SP can't reproduce the sounds that a real patient would make if they had congestive heart failure, if they had an ulcer, if they had any number of maladies. So the encounter stops while the SP hands the aspiring doctor a slip of paper with the results of what they would have heard. Does this interruption to the simulation lessen the experience? How can this encounter be made more realistic? What if an electronic stethoscope could be used that would play the appropriate sounds when touched to the SP's body? Would that increase the efficiency and the efficacy of the encounter? Now, building such a device is a big task, especially if you're like me and you're not a programmer or an electrical engineer. But it turns out there's a shortcut, copy and paste. You see, the world is full of makers, people who use open source software and open source hardware to explore, learn, build, and share their creations. It turns out to create an electronic stethoscope, what you need is a thing to detect when the stethoscope comes in contact or in close proximity to a certain part of the patient's body, and another thing to play a sound based on what location is detected. Here are two great projects posted to sites where makers share their designs. A door opener that is triggered by radio frequency ID chips, also known as RFID, and a hammer used as an accessory for a costume. Copy and paste the hardware and software from these two projects, and the result will be a working model of an RFID triggered stethoscope. This pasted together solution might not be good enough for large scale deployment, but it is good enough to conduct some experiments about how to best increase the realism of the simulation encounter. Copying and pasting hardware designs into new projects and products is a powerful tool for innovation and research. The maker movement has created a unique, vibrant, and rich ecosystem of open source software and hardware that academia and the public can tap to drive innovation. So the next time that you think that developing an idea or testing a solution to your problem or coming up with a prototype for a new product is beyond your means, just remember it might be as simple as copy and paste.